that my body is ever changing. Not just now that I'm pregnant, but even before I got pregnant pa. On the day that I've decided to accept that my body is different, my body is, you know, ever changing and it's beautiful as it is, it really changed my whole perspective and it gave me more confidence in expressing myself through fashion and clothing. In this video, I'm so excited to share with you some outfit ideas and tips along the way. And also, I wanna let you know that even if I'm pregnant, the outfits that I'm gonna share with you here are both wearable for those who are growing their bump and for those who are not. So if you guys are looking for some OOTDs, pregnant women or not, then please do keep on watching. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button beside it so I can keep you updated whenever I upload videos. Even if you're pregnant, you can be playful. Once you're ready to show your baby bump, then this bodysuit is the perfect piece for you. Just add your choice of cover up. As for me, I chose this oversized plaid polo because it looks so playful and so young. But if you want to go for a more sophisticated look, then you can go for a coat, like you have on coat. And I paired it with this bag. And I paired it with my favorite Velcro sandals. They're super comfy because I'm pregnant, so I want to go comfy as much as possible. But if you want to go extra, you can go for boots, you can go for your Doc Martens, or whatever shoes you want. Tip number one is buy more basic inners so you can just play around with different cover ups and you can get a lot of different looks. And I ended up putting this beret, I don't know why. Feeling kolang cute siya. <laughs> but yeah, this is our first look. Whether you're growing a bump or you're not, this is a nice outfit to wear. It's a girl or maybe not, whatever the gender of your baby, or even if you're not pregnant, <laughs> you can feel young. And if you do feel young, then dress young. I love this puffy dress I got here. And I know this shouts like I'm having a baby girl because I am having a baby girl. It looks like I'm ready for my baby shower, but it's not gonna happen yet because of COVID. But there's no excuse to not find a cute dress. So I paired this baby doll fluffy cotton candy dress with my pearl bag here and with a platform. You can wear it with other sandals in case you're not comfortable in wearing heels, but for me, I just want that extra height, so I'm going for the platforms. Tip number two, in case you really want that extra height, go for platforms or thick heels for your safety, especially when you're pregnant. Again, this dress is not under the maternity category. I just got this one from an online shop. And you know, in case you're not ready to show how big your bump is, then this would be a perfect dress. And yeah, this is outfit number two. I'm not gonna deny, growing a bump can be somehow uncomfortable. So there are days that I really just want to wear something really comfortable, easy, breezy, fresco. Kasi pagbuntis ka, sobrang init, lalo na dito sa Pilipinas. I love how comfortable this dress is, as in super comfortable. I love the fabric that it's a bit stretchy. And I love that I can grow into this dress. By the way guys, I did not get this from the maternity section. I got this one from Pen Shop and it's not maternity, but look, I'm wearing it on my 26th week. And even if after pregnancy, I can still wear this dress, but I'm so super suited this dress. And what makes this black dress different from all my other dresses is the tiered skirt. I mean, look at that tiered skirt. It looks so nice. And I paired it with my bag, this bag, like a sling bag. I am ready ako to go and buy for baby stuff. I paired it with my comfy ballet shoes and matchy matchy sila. So the color is black and beige, which is the color of my dress and my bag. Tip number three, you are not limited to maternity clothes. You can find a lot of dresses that you can definitely grow into and still wear after your pregnancy. Ready for a picnic kind of outfit. This is one of the few maternity clothes that I currently own. I think I only have less than 
my maternity clothes and this one is one of them and to be honest it still doesn't look like it's just for maternity or it's just for the expecting moms out there this overalls originally came with a black shirt but i layered it in with this um, statement shirt that I owned before I got pregnant pa. I'm so into these overalls because it's so comfortable. I can just move however I want. You know, I can walk like this and wala, wala makita sa akin. And I can sit, I can squat properly. I don't have to think about anything. And it has pockets, deep pockets on both sides. And these ribbons here actually to adjust the strap of your overalls. And for this outfit, since I'm wearing checkered overalls, I went for clean and basic accessories. So I went for white bag and white shoes. Tip number four is that if you're unsure with how to mix and match colors, just pick two colors in your outfit and go with that. As for this outfit, I only have two colors. So I used white for my bag, white for my sandals to match with my white top and my checkered overalls. Let's go extra comfy and cozy. We're going all comfortable, not just with the type of clothing, but with the fabric. This co-arts is obviously not for maternity as per usual, but you can still wear it if you're growing a bump or not. The humadera in me before I got pregnant is just so happy with this set because I can wear it with a bump or without a bump. It fits comfortably. I mean, guys, it is so comfortable. So whether it's warm or it's cool outside or you're going a bump or not, this cohorts is a must-have in your closet. I'm not sure what to call this fabric, but it's so cottony, so soft, so stretchable and comfortable on your body. Parang it wraps around your body, but it doesn't make you feel rest it's not restricting at all. And I paired this all white cohorts with this knitted colorful cardigan and a bucket bag. And as you can see, it's all light colors, it's very fresh on your eyes, and I am wearing my favorite velcro sandals <laughs> so this is the whole look tip number five for you is go and buy stretchy clothes ayan mga stretchable so you can overuse them you know all throughout your pregnancy and once you go back to your old weight kasha pa din siya and wearable pa din siya i am so ready for a mini gathering but i can't do that because of covid but anyway this dress is perfect for your date night with your love of your life. It can be in a fine dining restaurant or maybe just at home, just set up in your own dining table. This dress is also perfect for that, you know, intimate, very special occasion and also perfect for maybe just go for a lunch or a dinner with your girls. I really just love this dress. Again, this is not from maternity category. I just got this from the women's category. There's a lot of things that I love about this dress. I know I have been saying love in this video, but number one, the silhouette is just so pretty. I rarely have this silhouette, so I am so happy I got this dress. Second is the fabric. I mean, it's just so nice on how it drops on your body. Third is the color and the print. I love how it looks playful yet it looks so sophisticated. And of course, the pleated fabric makes everything look so social. <laughs> this dress may have a lot of colors, but I like how faint the colors are. So I decided to go all out with my accessories. So I chose pink and purple on my dress. So I got a pink bag here and a purple heels. <laughs> Tip number six is if you're not ready to reveal your bump yet, wear something loose and no one will know. Not until you reach like your mid second trimester or third trimester. This outfit just says I'm so ready for a road trip or a beach trip or whatever trip that there is. I am just repurposing everything once again. I I am wearing this bralette that I used to own before pa and this lounge shorts that is really comfortable and surprisingly still fits my 26 weeks belly and this cover up, this polo cover up, I love the print, I love the fabric, it's really soft and breathable and this one is Brian's polo shirt and that is my next tip to you guys wear your partner's clothes you can wear their t-shirt and just tie it around or get their polo shirts and use it as cover-ups you can even tie it this way so we're so ready for that trip and i wore this straw hat of mine that i always wear whenever i go to the beach and to end this look i just wore my slip-ons 
Basics is definitely a must-have in your closet. So here, I am wearing my first ever maternity shorts here. So it looks like that. It's maternity. And finishing up this all-white basic is this jacket. Um, I just love the shade of this one. It's in the middle of like beige and white. And I love the details of the buttons. And to level up this plain and simple outfit, I picked a bucket bag, a printed one, and also this flats. <laughs> Here I'm just wearing a plain oversized polo dress. You can wear it as is or you can play it around with a vest. Now I got this knitted vest last year and I just feel like since it's already September, I feel this is like a bit Christmassy and a bit Korean. So I just found this look cute and thought of sharing it with you guys. Anyway, I chose this white sneakers to pair with this whole outfit. Tip for you here is invest in good basics like this polo dress that I have here and you can just wear it as is or play it around with a vest or accessories. You can never go wrong with basics. For the last outfit, of course, we're gonna go for something really comfortable for both pregnant women and not. <laughs> So a sweatshirt is really a must-have. You can just move around without thinking about anything. You can wear your sports bra inside in case you want to go for a workout, for a walk, for a jog, and afterwards you want to look dressed up and just put on a sweatshirt. For my bottoms, I'm just wearing my leggings that I owned for years now. So my last tip for you is invest on a good leggings. I mean, I am 26 weeks and I can still wear my leggings comfortably. And I just love the fabric of these leggings. It's not too thin, not too thick. Although eventually I think I will outgrow these leggings, but at least I've overused it before I move on to maternity leggings. Going for that beige cap and this bag, I love how rugged this bag looks like. And of course, the most comfortable shoes that I own, these shoes, these sneakers, I can wear this all day, all night. Basta, that is the most comfortable shoes that I own. So this is for our final look. And I am here to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope that you really got some outfit ideas from this video. And also, I hope that you picked up some tips for me. And that is it. Pagod na ang buntis. I hope you leave me some love, like, 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 comment down below what videos you want me to do, and I hope to see you on my next vlog. Bye guys! Keep safe!